Hey, bless up, bless up. So today I wanted to share with you some things that I learned about the electrical install on our um, manufactured home. The pole, we had this pole set before we had the actual home. One thing to keep in mind is they generally want this pole to be close proximity of the of the manufactured home. In this case, it was not. And so therefore, 35 feet or more, they have to install a panel box. So this one right here has a breaker in it. Let's see if I can get in here with one hand. So this has a breaker box here, external breaker box. And this was installed because of it's more than 35 feet. So that's one thing to keep in mind and to look for. And this is the state of Florida now. Um, so we had this and they ran this underground and we went down through here. Now this is one key thing to keep in mind too. Um, our permit was not approved because of a couple of things. The well was dug, but it had exposed wiring. We had to put in this conduit, had to go all the way down through and conduit all the way down to the well. This junction box, I had a, a elbow that didn't work, so we had to install this instead and come directly in here. No um, exposed wiring. And then this particular thing right here, I put in the description, but this is a HP D50. It's a surge protector device. This surge protector device is something that was new as of January 2024. Any dwelling has to have this. Um, now, of course, if you already have existing or what have you, but if you ever have to do electrical or reconnect or disconnect and reconnect or rewiring, this now in the state of Florida, this is required as of January. I think it's a federal law, but y'all go look up the information for surge protection device. And as we take a look in here, uh, basically the surge, we have the surge protector. He went ahead and labeled everything, showed the well, the surge protector, and we just made sure that everything was all plumbed up and ready to go. So those are some things you want to keep in, in mind. Look for some of those things. Uh, maybe even question or ask if you don't see these things uh, with your new installation on your new manufactured home. Um, these are things that made us where we either pass or fail and now we should definitely be in compliance. So I look forward to getting this approval.